2006 was the year stories about corruption in Kenya dominated the news. On February 1st, former Permanent Secretary for Ethics and Governance, John Githongo, released from London, where he had gone into voluntary exile, more damaging information about the Anglo-leasing scandal that had forced President Mwai Kibaki to relieve former Minister for Transport Chris Murungaru of his job the previous year. This time, Gedongo's revelations would force Finance Minister David Miraria to resign. On February 3rd, Justice Samuel Bosire's commission, appointed in 2003 to look into another scandal, the decade-old Goldenberg scandal, published its findings. It found former Vice President and Finance Minister at the time, and now Education Minister George Saitoti, guilty of gross wrongdoing. A week later, Gidongo piled on more heat. He released a secret tape of recordings of conversations he claimed he had had with Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister Keraito Murungi on the Anglo-leasing affair. The tape suggested Murungi had opted for a cover-up of the scandal. On February 12th, Kibaki prevailed upon Saitoti and Murungi to resign from the cabinet. Saitoti was later arraigned in court to answer charges arising out of his role in the Goldenberg affair, but the court cleared him. By the end of 2006, he and Murungi would be back in the cabinet. It did not help matters for Kibaki that the country's independent press appeared rather eager to publicize the corruption cases, thereby increasing public pressure on the government to take stronger action against those responsible for the scandals. Apparently, to teach some of the press a lesson, masked policemen on orders from Internal Security Minister John Mishuki raided the Kenya television network premises in Nairobi on March 2nd, destroying and confiscating equipment and forcing the station off the air. They burned copies of the sister newspaper, The Standard. It transpired later that among the raiders were two Armenian brothers with an international criminal record. 2005 was the year Kibaki's government organized a peace rally in Marsabit to try and reconcile the warring pastoral communities in the district following the killing of more than 60 Gabra herdsmen by Boran cattle rustlers the previous year. On April 10th, a high-power delegation flew out of Nairobi to address the rally. It was headed by Nakuru Town MP Mirugi Karyuki, who was also Assistant Minister for Internal Security in the Office of the President, and included North Hor MP Bonaya Godana, Saku MP Abdi Sasura, Moyale MP Guracha Galgalo, Laisamis MP Taita Sungoyoni, Retired Lieutenant General Abdullahi Aden, who was an MP in the East African Legislative Assembly, and Anglican Bishop William Wako. They never made it to the peace rally. The Kenya Air Force plane they were travelling in crashed as it approached Masabit Airport, killing all of them. Elsewhere on the political front, 2006 was the year Vice President Moody Awori led 51 MPs, including half of the cabinet, to launch a new party, NARC Kenya, intended to be the vehicle for Kibaki's re-election for the following year. This came as differences within the ruling party, National Rainbow Coalition, NARC, widened. Two of NARC's affiliate parties, Charity Ngilu's National Alliance for Change and Musikari Kombo's Ford Kenya declined to join NARC Kenya. In business, it was the year Communication and Information Minister Motahi Kagwe launched a 15 billion Kenya shillings fiber optic undersea cable system to connect Kenya to the rest of the world. Rift Valley Railways, a consortium of South African and local Kenyan investors, took over the operations of Kenya Railways. And Uchumi Supermarkets shut down due to insolvency. In sports, 2006 was the year Paul Cosquet broke the world 25-kilometer road race record in Berlin, Germany. 
Samuel Wanjiro broke the world half marathon record at The Hague, Holland. Rita Jepto won the Boston Women's Marathon and Felix Limo the London Men's Marathon. In addition to members of the peace delegation who died in the air crash at Marsabit Airport, Kenyans in 2006 bade farewell to veteran freedom fighter and one of the Kapenguria Six, Bildad Kagea, and to former Kigumo MP Francis Mwangi Thuol.